Hello everyone and welcome to another project update. My name is Lock Rules and welcome. So unfortunately we skipped last week's video. There wasn't really enough to update you guys with, but that just means we have even more to show off for this week. So two new villages have been added. Comb, which you may have seen before in a couple of our build tutorial videos, and Staddle. So let's jump straight into it and I'll show you guys off Comb. Comb is unique with the amount of farms it has. It also has a windmill, which I made a tutorial for, as well as a mine. Okay, so I'm just going to show you guys around the village. So originally it was made by placing down a bit of a stream and creating a pond, and then we just pasted a few houses around, uh, put in a windmill, and then just added a couple farms, and before we knew it we had an entire village. Uh, we thought we needed something else, so we added a mine to the side here. And I'm just going to show you around the mine, because the mine is quite cool. So we just got into the mine shaft and travel our way down. Um, somewhere around here we should have some mine carts, but they're probably right to the bottom, or they've been removed. Um, so yeah, we've got quite a cool little mine shaft. Um, going down there, oh, let's get back up. Fly out. Um, oh, there's a mine cart. Let's go out of here now. Um, and yeah, every single house has its own interior. I'm just going to go into the windmill and show you guys what we've added to the windmill as far as interior is concerned. Just climb up here, around, up, even higher. <laughs> going to go all the way to the top. And there we go, we've got the blades turning there. And we can look out into Chetwood. Cool. You can see smoke coming off there. I'll make sure to replace that. Uh, and let's let it go down. So yeah, we can see smoke coming off the forest, and that is because if we get out, I'll show you guys. Oh, all the way down and out. To make sure to shut the door. Let's fly over here to the smoke, and we'll jump down. Into here. And that's because there's a hobbit hole here. Let's go inside. <laughs> a bit of a settee made using snow. Um, just sit in front of the fire. I hope this doesn't melt. Let's leave the place now. Oh. <laughs> okay. Fly out. So we've added quite a bit to Chetwood as well, um, the forest is nearly half complete, um, we compare that to last video, we've added quite a bit more trees to the forest now. So last update we showed off Archet, a village deep inside of Chetwood. If we take a look at the dynamic map, you'll see that the forest is probably about half complete now. We've got Archet here which we showed off in the last video. Uh, we've got the watchtower, I think, about here. Um, breeze over here. Um, and then if we zoom in a bit more, you can see Cone, you can see Steddle, um, you can see the river coming down from there, uh, and the river that we saw just a moment ago. The second and the larger of the two villages is Staddle. Currently we have about 15 homes in this village, as well as adding a large river flowing through into Chetland. But along the river we've added a water mill, and further into the forest we've got a lumber mill. Surrounding the lumber mill we've added an excavation site. So Staddle is a cute little village on the side of the Bree Hill. Um, we've got, as I said earlier, about 15 different houses here. We've got a hobbit hole there, a few houses in between all the trees there. I'm just going to try and show off some of the interior. I uh, would love to show it all off but I don't really have time so you can pick the house at random. Go inside this one and you can see all the interior and upstairs as well. Um, and all of these houses are uniquely designed with their own different sorts of interior. Um, and let's fly down here. Um, and then we've got the um, water mill here. We'll fly through the forest to the lumber mill. And you can see the excavation site. We've got a few trees which have been cut down here, which look quite cool. Um, that one hasn't got any leaves. Fly back over here, fly up here. Um, let's go into another one of the houses. Uh, let's go into... Just go into this one, because the door's open. Makes it easier for me. Let's go upstairs. Ooh. 
Make sure we shut the door on the way out as well. Don't want to let a draft in. We've got the markets here. What happened to these crops here? Oh no, they are actually growing. I didn't think they were growing. I thought they had been destroyed or something. Um, and yeah, that's Staddle. Just wanted to show you guys off a few things we've actually added into the Chetwood Forest. Here we have um, some sort of ruins which we've made um, sort of near Bree and near Cone. Sort of fly up so you can just get a reference point for how deep into the forest we are. I'll just jump up there. Um, there we go. Um, Cone is there, that hasn't loaded too well. And Bree is over this way. So these are all ruins. Um, a reason there could be ruins is during the War of the Ring, um, there was a group of ruffians which tried to invade Bree. Um, they very well could have had a settlement, which over the years has sort of well, become a ruin. Um, so that's just one reason. And also, it breaks up so much forest. Um, it is quite annoying to just pay so much trees all the time. So yeah, it's just nice of a bit of something different to break it up. Deep into the forest here, we've actually added a camp. There's a bit of a bonfire here, burning, blazing throughout the forest. Creating smoke. <laughs> um, yeah, this is quite deep into the forest. We've just added a few little sort of Easter eggs that hopefully people can try and find if they're wooden enough to try and explore through the forest. That said, it is so deep into the forest, I don't know if anyone will be able to find this without looking at a dynamic map to be able to help them. So that's about it for this week's video, I hope you enjoyed it. Next week we'll be showing off the other side of the hill, that means we're showing off Bree, uh, which will be quite interesting. So I hope you like these small little villages, I hope you like Tarchet, uh, Combe and Staddle, the three villages surrounding Bree. Thank you for watching.